Yes, that is right. We've got bread, we've got dead, we've got farts. Great. I got like frustrated because that was the one that was on the top and then it fell all the way down the bottom. Yeah, this is just me being professional. This is not the salt. I think there's a trophy for not knocking over the salt. <laughs> Yes, that's me. That's the bread. Remember the bread one? Because remember, I think you were reacting to that one. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to fly it. And then hang onto there and then knock the chair back. Let go of it. Propel yourself forward. And then, like, you know, jimmy jam your way up to the top. Yes, those are ants. So you put too much jelly on it, the ants will get on you and eat you. Yeah, I'm not joking. Yeah, the jelly, I've done that before. I'm not good with the jelly and the ants eat you. I, I wanted to test it out myself, but I didn't do that. So now I, I'm trying to get in between the, the Jenga. I'm trying to move to the left thing. But like, I think at this point, I, I don't know, I think Arabella was like, what is it she kept uh, saying something. She's like, oh, what game is this? What game is this? What game is this? Over and over and over again until you finally answer your question. What's that? What's that? <laughs> What's that? It's chips. What kind of chips? What kind of chips? What kind of chips? She just keeps asking, like, oh my gosh, she's gonna play. Use your imagination again. Bro. It could have taken me a lot less to do this, but I think I got stuck here. And that's me just jimmy jamming my way there. See, look, that's how you have to do it. You have to pop yourself up. And then you have this grip thing on the very top, that grip. That's how long you can grip. Once that goes off, you fall down. So I keep losing my grip, but I think at this point I got stuck. You see that? The little area right there, I'm getting stuck at. I let go, and then I think I ended up like hitting the thing, the chip of the thing. Yep. part so I just like you know I'm just gonna fall down so there's the grip there's me losing the grip and I land right back on top of that and then that's when I'm like flipping forwards so I can hit that side right there I fell near the chips this is the game this is the game I don't know what to say so I'm going up to the top I think at that point you were just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh, don't worry. And then this is the slow crawl to the box. This is me walking, trying to walk so I can get the box. This is going to take forever. This is going to take so long. So you have, so the thing with this game is that you have four shoulder buttons. You have like the L1, R1, R1, L1, R1, R2, R2. That's what controls the sides of the, the bread and then you have the face buttons x square um, or i should say cross square circle and triangle they don't call it x they call it cross so i'm kind of pushing forward and so that's what i've been doing well i'm, I'm kind of pushing the arm but then i'm like thrusting it I kind of like thrust it because it, it tastes better like I have to. But when you're on a swing, you thrust it forward and back and forth. I have a kind of, I think I do that. Just like a good thing. I do the chips. It's a good extra weight. If, if not, I can take it. That's like gold. That's 
into your bow right there and sometimes you move a little bit forward. Second, the second to last one, I didn't even know. I think I messed up the box completely. Um, I didn't have enough grip to attach to that cover. But this is this is masterful plane right here. I have enough grip. I'm gonna fly attached to it, let go of the box, and help myself up just like my bam. That's what I was thinking. I was like, thinking about going down and then going across, but then I was like, I don't know if the, because you know how like you see the tile there is kind of dirty, so I thought that was gonna make my bread dirty. Like when you see the uh, tiles by the like the stove and all that, it looks kind of dirty. I thought that would make my bread dirty, so I'm doing something like the top. Okay, woo! I got really lucky there. Me fixing the camera. <sighs> I say, you see the tile looks kind of dirty, mm -hmm. so I yeah. thought I was going to make my bread dirty, and then I just flip over, yeah, I'm like, okay, the grip, I was like, I can feel it on the controller, too. I'm like, oh shit, it's dropped, so I just, like, dropped it, right <laughs> the, the controller starts Maybe shaking, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know how to do the question, but it's Seeing it burning right there? 
Well, actually, you're not burning. It's just heating up. When you actually put yourself in like that, because you have to hold on to it, and then you can see the indicator right there on the side. It's going to tell you how much your bread's been toasted. So you have to make sure it goes to 100%. And yeah, but I think I pressed it a little too late because I was expecting it. So it's like, oh, perfect. So I get it a little toasty. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so what what happened? I just skipped a bunch of stuff because I just like skipped it to like the last two or three chapters. Okay. The reason is because it's like an hour and a half. And the recording was all messed up. It was all janked up. This is gonna suck. No. So yeah, she got bit by the dog. So um, yeah. she's gotta clean that wound. Oh yeah. Ooh. Nice and crusty. Now it's time to suture the wound. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. The kid know how to do that? Yep. Well, she learned it from, remember the girl that was pregnant? She learned it from her. So now we gotta pick this up. We gotta attach it to the, the little needle that we got. Ooh. That's where it's gonna start to, be, start to get very interesting. She makes that very easily. Look at this. The button press. Bam. Boom. Imagine if this were like, uh, like heavy time. rain or something. It'd Just be like, like hold the me. controller steady. Uh, pr press this button and press this button and press this button. Oh my gosh. Can you look at me? No, back up. Oh, no. It's going to show us real good. And then push. Ooh. Oh wait, there's more. Oh no no no, she still has to pull it through. Like that. I just love the way the blood just goes out on the other side. Keep pushing it, though, girl. I, when I I'm even holding the A button because I just I can feel that. I can. Oh gosh, gotta go again and again and again. Hopefully it'll die though, because I got like really lucky with that. Uh, with like the zombie in, in here. Really, really lucky the first time. We're walking the floor now. Oh, okay. What? Oh, we got Mr. Sir Farts Lotto. Yeah. There's the bone. Too deep. Oh, it went too deep. She has to pull it out and oh, caress it over. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, that's the last one for me. That's the last one. That's too deep. Real nasty cut right there. Now we gotta cover the cloth. I, I, I thought it was a cutscene for a second. Nope, she drops it on the floor. She gonna drop it on the floor? Oh no, I dropped it on the floor. Guess what? I, that's what's gonna happen. It's The Walking Dead. First try. I did the whole thing the first try. So you're not supposed to. I got the hammer, and I fell to the floor like this, and I did this. Also, we need there we go. 
doesn't change the way. Then I grab this. Stuff right there. Right? The shed should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? It's pretty nice. This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to it us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn look of sneaking around So now they when she was when she approached the house, she meets that guy and Pete, Luke and Pete. And she um bless you. And she shows them the bite, and they think it's a walker bite, or they call it a lurker bite. But she tells them it's a dog bite, a dog baby. They don't believe her, so they leave her in that barn. And then you have to sneak into the house to get the supplies, which is what I did. I, I skipped the whole area, because I already did that. The, the previous parts are just kind of boring, anyway. This might they, hurt don't, a little. they don't believe it? No, 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 now they do, because How he's, he's basically going to say, like... Her skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already so set in. So, if she was that bitten by an actual room. zombie, she would have had, like, a fever already. That's what he was basically saying. It would have set in, and it would have gotten worse. So then he's like, okay, she's, she's fine now. We believe her. But she almost had to get eaten by a... I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated so my daughter. Because you chose I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just no. ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is. What it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Of course, you're going to go the route where she's I'm sorry. I'll probably never make any more mistakes. So it's okay. So this guy was basically saying his daughter. So that's another thing I forgot to mention. This guy has a daughter, but she doesn't know there's a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, hey, uh, you some food if you're hungry. So he raises her like she's hidden from the world. Or zombies. The and daughter? Yeah, that guy has a daughter. The called. guy that patched up her arm. But she doesn't know. Where's the daughter? It doesn't bother me. I can live with it's it. It's just upstairs. Wow. Nice. And that guy almost kills her when she first arrives there. He actually shoots the gun by her hey, head, uh, and she like loses some say, of her hearing. Sorry for for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. I think this was we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. 
It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So he was just afraid because his mom died. Like they brought in somebody that had that was bitten. They didn't know they were gonna turn, and his so, mom was there and got eaten. Since you're pretty much on your yeah, own, kind of shot. what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with this? They'll just have to deal with it. I think that's pretty cool. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. And they died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and, and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What? To him. I ran away. I was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just. Sometimes people die because of me. Ow! Uh-oh. What happened? He pulled you? I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice Look, this Pete. place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyway. Oh, you're going to see this really end. You're going to see this ending. It goes first light. crazy. Fresh for dinner. No, the ending's coming up right now. This is like the second to last chapter. This night thing where she's just talking to everyone that lives in the house. There's like a pregnant wife. She's gonna come in afterward. She's like, I don't watch you here. It's like, ah, what the freak did I do? So I was kind of kind to her, but this time I'm gonna tell her. Still here. I'm gonna tell her. This is there she is right now. I'm gonna say, whose baby is that? Because she was like, oh, what do you mean? It's so. Please be this person's baby. Please be this person's baby. It's like. I get her right on her anus. I don't care. <laughs> Stop. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. She's like, you shut your fucking mouth. I won't tell. I know <sighs> it's going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Dang, she still says the same line. What the freak, man? She's just a bee. I should just say, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him. You told me you weren't gonna tell him. It's hilarious because they talk. And he's, uh, no, no, I think they're gonna show like a preview. I'm not gonna spoil it though. No, actually, I think I can spoil it. Because I'm never gonna probably play this game again. But the guy is just like. 
Like, what do you mean it's someone else's baby? Just like, I heard you got an earful for well, a back It back. better not be who I think it is. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her back. What's her problem? Now well, she's talking. got a lot on her mind lately. Bring a baby into a world like this. I can, like, do this, but I can't really, like... How far are these fish Put some ice on it. It ain't much for me. What are you talking about? Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, <laughs> why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway. So I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Dang. Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. <laughs> Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river <laughs> is. <laughs> okay, Nick. Wait, what happened to his rifle? Did his rifle spawn out? So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. It meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Here, reminds me of the power. Uncle Pete! <laughs> this one? What, the, the animation? No, the Nick. ones where you have to take the path. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus, Jeremy and Joseph. That's where we got the, the, the death scene right here. Oh. Got a bunch of dead bodies over there. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. So now we're gonna worry about a guy named Carver who we're never going to see. Still got my hand. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. Mm -hmm. Let's look at this body right here. Mm. Yeah. Like that. He was this shot. This one's shot too. Through the head. So they know they know that they yeah. come to life if they're not shot. Check the rest mm -hmm. and look for ammo. So Run if they're blood. dead, they gotta make sure they get shot in the head. Alright, let's talk to Pete. Let's walk around to Can Pete. Can I help? I got it. Oh my god. Are you sure you're okay? Ask my uncle. He knows everything. I said I got it, okay? Okay, Nick. I'm just I just know what happens in the cutscene. There. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? 
Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That Dang. nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta <laughs> grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You so he's like something? playing hardball with him? On that tree line. Um, so the, like, did he's might still be uh, Pete, the guy with the hat, is like this, uh, across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. He's, uh, he's so down. Agreeable? No. Good. Oh, yeah. fit right Pete, the guy with the hat. Look, That's Pete's uncle. I'm sorry, not Pete's uncle. Nick's uncle. Nick's uncle's Pete. We got a little zombie here. Same that little we got a zombie. Hope this isn't anyone you know. Oh! Oh! That oh no, they can. I, I beefed up the audio a little bit. You check out these. They're gonna hear some See if farts. there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. They're gonna hear some poopoos. That guy's gonna come back because he's not shot in the head. Oh, no, no. Nothing to see here. You see, this girl looked like Krista to me. The girl that she was with. Pregnant? The one that was pregnant, yeah. But we don't know what happened to the baby. We don't know if the baby died or anything like that. Rather, I don't. We, I, we don't know. Do you remember she was pregnant? And then the next time you see them, it's like months later. It's just her and Clementine. She's gonna find her bag. So these are the people that were chasing them in the beginning. Oh, he's still. Who's that? It's one of the guys I was chasing. Them. What happened to you? So I asked, like, what happened to them? You were in the woods and then with they're gonna ask. For some water, the woman but I was it's with. kind of a waste what because... What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. I'm pretty sure this water is gonna come in handy like the next episode if there is if you know if I ever do the next episode. Ah! Look what happened. Pete! I'm fine! I'm fine! Just just lost my footing! Oh, damn it. Yeah, bit. Oh, damn it! See, now you have to choose which side to go on. Over here, both of you. Cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here. God damn it. Come on. Come on. Because I actually like it. It's a bitch. Oh my god. I know. A lot of sure, hops a lot. Huh? You know, the one thing I don't get about these zombies is how do they have mandibles that can bite through your flesh? They're rotting. If anything, their teeth should be breaking. Saw off his leg. What? 
Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? No, I, I don't see him out there, so he might be dead. Who knows? I don't know. I can't so, keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here so this to one was nobody. probably on the Just cusp of getting beat right down, now. Man. And then Clementine's gonna be like, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. But we don't know who it is. By the way, I, I remember who the guy's name was. It was Kenny. He had a family.